In today's video, we are going to make a sunshine peach cocktail. Mmm, sounds good. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday. I'm Mark. This is the Average Me channel. And boy, am I looking forward to today's cocktail. I have to confess, the neighbors invited us over earlier today. We just got back. So we were a, kind of a casual get together, a pool party over there. And then I said, you know, we've got to do Thirsty Thursday yet. And we had something really cool planned for you. The Sunshine Peach Cocktail. This is so easy to make. It's amazing. I have to have so many things here at the bar to make a cocktail so simple. But you want to do it right, don't we? So today's ingredients include Kentucky Bourbon. This is Walcott, really good brand. And you know, I just love it when our bottles have corks. And then we have peach schnapps and an orange. So I think you can see where the name comes from. Sunshine, that's the orange. We are the Sunshine State. Peach, schnapps, there's Georgia and some good Kentucky bourbon. So we're gonna start out by mixing a little bit of orange juice. Now, one thing I realized before we got started today, oh my goodness, oh, I just love that fresh orange, is my juicer is not big enough for this jumbo orange that I have. So we are going to juice this the old fashioned way I'm just gonna squeeze it. All we really need is about an ounce of that orange. So we're just going to do a little bit of squeezing by hand. Look at all that pulp squeeze out of this with my Herculean strength. And we're gonna see how much juice we can get out of this. And if we have to get more, I think what I might do is try to quarter this and still put it into my juicer. Because all that's happening here is I'm just sort of squeezing it. So let's see what we can do. This is, I know it's makeshift. What we should really be doing is getting the right size juicer, shouldn't we? So let's see how much juice we can get out of this. This is crazy. Okay, we got a little bit of orange there. I'm getting a lot of juice out of this actually. And we'll scrape some of that pulp out. We'll get a little more of this one in there. This is really looking pretty good. I know you can't see all of it, but we're getting a lot of orange juice in, into this. But I'm trying to, ooh, trying to keep some of that pulp out of there. And I may have to, I may have to strain some of that out by the time we're done. I wasn't anticipating that. But, you know me, it's always fun to forget things because then I get to do my little magic trick. <laughs> this is crazy. It is just squeezing orange everywhere. So yeah, we're gonna have to um, get some kind of a strainer in order to, can you see that? Can you see it just squeezing a little orange out of the side? We got a lot of orange juice out of it but it's pulpy orange juice and um, I don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little um, bartender magic. And there we go. So we're just going to strain a lot of that pulp out of this. And that's looking pretty good there. And that'll give us, I think, exactly what we need is about one ounce of orange juice. And you know, they call this the Sunshine State. I'll tell you, this time of year, it really is a Sunshine State. We rarely get rain. And then when the summer comes, it is a rainy season and we get nothing but rain. So what we're gonna do to mix this is use my strainer shaker. So we're going to start by getting a little bit of ice in there. 
and hopefully we can get about an ounce of orange juice out of this. And look at that. Can't get much perfect than that. We have one ounce of orange juice. And then we're going to take one ounce of the peach schnapps. Try saying that five times fast. Peach schnapps. No, I'm not going to do it. One ounce of that. And then two ounces of our fine Kentucky bourbon. And we are using our Walcott Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. We're going to go with two ounces of that. And don't you agree with me that there's something magical about a quart bottle? So there we go. And, shake it. and I know you don't see me shake it for as long as I actually do. I probably shook that for a good 30 to 45 seconds until it gets so cold. I always say so cold that you can't hold on to it any longer. And then we're going to put some ice into the glass. What I think I'm going to start doing is trying to get some of those, well, I just cannot get hold of a, an ice cube. I'd like to try to get some of those really big jumbo ice cubes so you only have one, like two, two and a half inch ice cube in your glass. But we're gonna put several ice cubes in. There we go. And then we're going to garnish it with orange. Could you garnish it with anything else? Of course. You can garnish this with some peach if you'd like, but doesn't that look gorgeous? Let's give it a taste and see what it's like. Oh my goodness, as simple as that is. And I think the key is really to use fresh squeezed orange juice, but this is just delicious. So simple, so cool, so refreshing. And I know it's only March. So for some of you, um, you know, you're thinking if you're in the northern states, like I used to come from Wisconsin, I want something nice and, and warm. But this is a great uh, cocktail. If you want something that just brings in the sunshine of these southern states, like Georgia, in Florida, you can do a lot worse. Mm. That is so good, so refreshing. And I think I'm just going to have to end this video and enjoy it. I hope you give this one a try. It is so straightforward. I mean, only three ingredients, and yet you get a taste that uh, really has a nice blend of the peach, the orange, that Kentucky bourbon, hard to beat. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please click my face in the corner to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me channel.